Anyway, folks, let's lighten up the mood a little bit. I'm going to take some damn Twitter shout-outs. And for you folks that are unaware, uh, you can retweet the first tweet on my Twitter account. And the Twitter name is Politics Ghost, all one word, no underscores, Politics Ghost. And if you retweet the first tweet that says, True Capitalist Radio Now Live, I will give you a Twitter shout-out live right here on the broadcast right here. All right, uh, do we got any Twitter shout-outs, Engineer? Well, let's go ahead and get to these Twitter shout-outs right now. <laughs> Woo! All right, we got Portugal for Ghost in the house. We got regular TCA in the place. Uh, we've got Dr. Nixon in the place. Uh, we've got uh, Muzza Mill... Uh, I, I don't know. He calls himself an internet jerk. I can't. I can't read the other name. Uh, I'm not saying that disgusting name for Christ's sake. Uh, Liberty Ghost in the house. What's going on, to Liberty Ghost? Uh, we've got uh, two hours of brown nosers. Uh, shove it up your ass. All right, boy. Jesus Christ. And look, of course, we've got uh, people here that are trying to make fun of the assassination attempt of. Uh, Donald Trump yesterday. Look, you sons of bitches, I'm not going to read any of those goddamn names, all right? That's not funny, man. Jesus Christ. Tyson Rocket in the house. What's going on? We've got uh, Fort, Fort McMurray is saved. What's going on? We've got uh, Capitalist UK, the religion of penis. Uh, Jesus Christ, man. TSA love hand for ghost, shove it up your ass. Seriously, I don't really appreciate that. I, I've told you a story about. It. I don't want. I, just shut up. We've got Ed and the Wizard in the house. We got APC two two seven official in the place. The Green Leader, Artron Havoc in the house. There's the Whore Master. Oh yes, I am the Whore Master. Uh, who the hell else do we got going on over here? We got. Uh, the Green Bio, uh, Soros controls Trump. No, he doesn't, you stupid moron. Are you kidding me? Stop spreading around that slanderous lie. George Soros has donated to damn Hillary Clinton's campaign more than anybody else out here in this damn political circuit, you stupid lying piece of trash. Jesus Christ. We got the trans American. Uh, here we go. We got all this trans testicles for Christ. The trans testicle, as a matter of fact. Now, look, is that a pair of balls with a pair of balls on it, man? Uh, Jesus Christ. What is wrong with you, sick pricks, man? Here's trans AR 15. They put a pair of balls on an AR 15. I mean, Jesus Christ, man. You people are sick. You people are freaking sick, man. Anyway, we got Sergeant Brexit in the house. What's going on? We got the Brony Network, the Trans Bottle. There we go. Jesus Christ. The, the Trans Capitalist Radio, Trans Capitalist Radio. God damn it. You assholes, they put a pair of balls on my goddamn avatar. They put a pair of balls on my avatar. Screw you, man. Screw you. Son of a bitch. I mean, man, what is up with you damn assholes, man? Sir, what is... Something wrong with you people, man. There's something definitely wrong with you idiots in the head. Jesus Christ, man. Give me the, give me the mic. Give me the mic. Give me the mic for Christ's sake. Christ. Hey, we, got, we got Exara Hawks in the house. What's going on to Exara Hawks? Uh, we've got Ghost Abuses Cans. A real funny, asshole. Real funny. We got Nurse Guy in the house. Uh, we've got Razor 360. Uh, who else do we got going on? We've got the Cruise Dresser. Who the hell else do we got going on over here, for Christ's sake? The Trans Longhorn? Did you put a goddamn pair of balls on the long... God <laughs> what the hell is up with this pair of balls on everything fetish? What is going on 
one with this trans-testicle garbage fetish. God damn it. God damn it. Ugh, look, I'm only... I mean, what is wrong with you people? Jesus Christ. Give me the mic. Give me the mic, for Christ's sake. Look, man, I'm only going to take a couple more of these, and that's about it, because you people are making me sick. I'm serious. You people are making me sick to my goddamn stomach. You should all be ashamed of yourselves, especially all this transgender, trans-testicle, putting a pair of balls on all kinds of garbage. I mean, give me a freaking break. Christ. We've got the trans nuke now. They, they they put a pair of balls on the nucleus. Jesus Christ, what the hell is your problem? Enough of the ball stuff. Seriously, you people got problems, all right? I mean, what are you doing listening to this show? Uh, you need to go to a damn, uh, you know, a glory hole or something and then, you know, fulfill whatever it is that you're repressing in the back of your fruit bowl mind. I'm not kidding around. Jesus Christ. Uh, we've got the trans ghost. Li- Jesus Christ. The trans Teutonic. I mean, what? Caitlyn Jenner for ghost. What is up with this trans testicle infatuation today? I mean, I thought this was Taco Tuesday. I didn't realize this was a goddamn trans testicle Tuesday. A trans testicle Tuesday, for Christ's sake. We're just going to put a pair of balls on everything. Oh, my God. The trans midget. I mean, where do you come up with this crap? How many names do you assholes have? Jesus Christ. The G-Man capital is strictly diesel. What's going on? Boat in the house. Oh, my God. I mean, seriously, man. How many goddamn freaking trans testicle names... Do you morons have? Good Lord. We got Platinum Robo in the house. We got two hours for liberty. Hey, what's going on? You know what it's about. Uh, We got the trans Trump. Oh, great. Oh, that's just great. You see, now y'all are getting ridiculous. I'm serious. Now y'all are getting ridiculous. The trans taco, the trans, they put a pair of balls on a goddamn taco? I mean, that isn't even anatomically correct for Christ. Damn it. Damn it. The trans taco. The trans taco. I mean, that looks more like the hermaphrodite taco from where I'm standing, for Christ's sake. Here, give me the goddamn. Get him All right, look, I. Uh, look, I'm just going to take a couple more on that. This is just ridiculous, all right? I'm serious. You people are you people are going way out of proportion, all right? You're, you're going way off keister. Look, there's a trans toilet. I mean, look, this is enough, all right? Seriously, I don't know what you people are doing. I, I don't know what, uh, what you're smoking. I don't know what drugs you people are on, but this is going way out of proportion. We got the trans lowrider. You put a freaking pair of balls on a lowrider. Stop! All right, look, stop! Stop this crap! All right, seriously, this is this is getting way out of hand now. This is getting way out of hand. Jesus Christ! Z Frostwire, what's going on, to Z Frostwire? How you doing, man? Jesus Christ! We got Trey in the house. The big P in the house. We've got Metal Capitalist in the place. What's going on to C K Smith in the place? Dorito burrito in the house. Jesus Christ. Tank Dempsey in the place. I'm not saying that disgusting name for Christ's sake. The trans ham bone. That's just great. You put a pair of balls on a ham bone. Oh, Jesus Christ, man. What the hell's your problem? What the hell's your problem, man? Oh, my God. Uh, the, the, the trans tinfoil hat. All right, that's enough. Get get out of here. That's enough. All right, that's enough. You people are just, y'all have ruined this crap. I'm serious. You people have ruined this whole goddamn Twitter shout-outs concept, for Christ's sake. 
I mean, I, I, every time I do this, and I'm going to say it, and I'm going to continue to say it, this is why we can't have nice things, for Christ's sake. We can't have nice things because of people like you. I mean, good God, man. You see, I try, and I try, I try to make this interactive. You know, I try to, you know, give a little bit of interaction to the people that are out here listening to the broadcast. And this is the kind of thanks that I get each and every goddamn time. So anyway, here, folks, uh, um, what's going on, engineer? All right, well, hold on just a second, folks. We're having a little bit of technical difficulties here with the damn switchboard, conveniently enough. But according to the engineer, is it going to be all right or what? Well, according to the engineer, he's working on it, for Christ's sake. I mean, you know, let's let's hurry it up, goddamn engineer, for Christ's sake. I mean, there's a lot of people that want to, you know, get the radio graffiti here. And, uh, you know, I mean, it's, you know, time's a ticket here. What the hell's the problem? Oh, Christ. All right, let's let's just wait and see if the engineer can, uh, you know, do his magic. But he, he's giving me a thumbs up. What the hell is a thumbs up? What do you want that mean? All right, apparently... He's got it fixed, all right? You better have it fixed, engineer, god damn it. Jesus Christ. Anyway, let's go ahead and get to Radio Graffiti right now. <laughs> Woo! Area code 435, Radio Graffiti. Tried to grab an officer's gun so he could kill Donald Trump. <laughs> Shut up! Don't besmirch the name of Donald Trump! God damn you! 863 Radio Graffiti. Hey girls, it's Tyson Rocket. I just want to say to all you trolls who are messing with him right now, do not, I repeat, do not hate on ghosts. Seriously, it's pissing us off. Hey man, I really appreciate that. I'm telling you, I need more people to, you know, you know, be on my side and, uh, and you know, hook me up with uh, you know, positivity and encouragement of that nature. I appreciate it. Five seven zero radio graffiti. Thank my balls. Yes, ma'am. Oh, oh, ah, oh. Jesus Christ! Get a goddamn room, you sick ass pervert. Eight three one radio graffiti. What the hell is that? You, you you're squealing like a pig, boy? How about uh, 207 Radio Graffiti? Hey, Ghost. I just wanted to tell you, you're a real inspiration to our family. My wife may not like you, but sometimes me and my wife's son will sit in the room when her baby dad shows up, and we'll listen to you. My wife's son really likes it when you start to go with the candy thing. And, you know, we're just saying, great job, Ghost. Keep it up. Uh, I really appreciate it. I mean, I, I, it looks like you got a Brady Bunch thing going on. Congrats, sucker. Uh, how about 347 Radio Graffiti? Oh, Ghost, you should put a cigar up my vagina. Uh. Oh, my God. No, no. God damn it. Why? I'm telling you, what a sick broad. I'm telling you, these broads are turning sick. I'm telling you this right now. I feel bad for young gentlemen today. I'm telling you, you got a bunch of sick ass twisted broads you got to choose from nowadays. How about 469 Radio Graffiti? I hit somebody in the face with a padlock. And I tried to stand the friend of mine whose name was Bob. He was a friend, but now he's a member of my family. Jeez, I, I don't know what the hell you're trying to do, boy. Anonymous, all right, Radio Graffiti. This is Sunshine Radio. China, you motherfucker out there talking garbage about communist government in China. The leader of the North made a tenure meeting for the East the United States. She's an old lady at the moment. Oh, East Timor. We do it for Germany now. Broadcasting from a jungle. I'm a very beautiful home. We own America. 
and multi B take it from here to Hula. Oh, right. Your phone. The phone is late. Call. God damn it. You're messing around with my intro again, you good damn son of a.
Yeah, it's all good, man. It's a taco, taco Tuesday, baby. <laughs> Woo! 712 Radio Graffiti. Mark my words, Ghost. Come this fall, my boy Gary Johnson is going to rip your boy down some new assholes in debates. Oh, yeah, right. You kidding me? He'll be too busy chewing on Johnson to be doing anything. All right, 952 Radio Graffiti. <laughs> Go some midget. Now shut up, you stupid moron. Stupid asshole. 909 Radio Graffiti. God damn it. God damn it. Assassinate the Trump. The leftist. The liberal. Assassinate the Trump. God damn it. No, don't even kid around about that, asshole. Don't even. Don't even kid around about that. 727 Radio Graffiti. Hey, Ghost, I just got to say happy Taco Tuesday. Could you leave me on for, um, you know, off air? Yeah, I'll leave you on. How about uh, Anonymous Radio Graffiti? Radio Graffiti. Jesus Christ, what the hell is your problem? Enough of the ball stuff. Seriously, you people got problems, all right? I mean, what are you doing listening to this show? Uh, you need to go to a damn, uh, you know, a glory hole or something and then, you know, fulfill whatever it is. God damn it, I thought I got ready. You got... Go there.
once again, I will be live tomorrow, 4 p.m. Central Standard Time, every Monday through Friday, baby. Spread it around like wildfire and let everybody know, for Christ's sake. Let everybody know that we're an affected in the house. I'm going to see you tomorrow. Happy Taco Tuesday, baby. <laughs>
what are you thinking? I mean, you're out there on the ground. I mean, what is the sentiment of m- the majority of people that are in your area in Britannia? Well, basically, the majority of my specific area, they, they want out big time. No matter what happens, they, they're all out. They're all saying out. I've asked quite a few people. I mean, I mean, I've even traveled around a few places not too far from me, and they're all saying they're all 50, 50 some of them 50 50, others are saying they went out. Like so do you believe that the, I mean, just based on the observation of people in your vicinity, in your area, do you believe that there is an overwhelmingly disproportionate amount of people that definitely want out, or is it too even to be, uh, to make that judgment? Well, I do find a bit, well, I would say classes do want out, but I'm not saying the majority, I wouldn't say the complete majority. i say it's kind of like the 50-50. More than anything. Oh, man, that's interesting. That's why these uh, odds makers, these gamblers, these bookies, uh, you know, they're they're going the direction of a vote-leave vote. Uh, but, uh, look, I, I'm still remaining optimistic. I know that there are a lot of people in Britannia that want to get out. Uh, this would be a slap to the mouth of the Eurocrats, the international bureaucratic institutions of the world. And I am holding out hope that Britannia will not fall for the propaganda that is being pumped out. I mean, did you see the supposed widower of Joe Cox coming out and saying that his wife died because of her political beliefs? I mean, can you believe this? What propaganda? What propaganda? I know. I saw on the news and also as well one other thing I want to mention, which is which I know you were talking about yesterday, but can I just say one thing from this side of the pond? We do not condone what that team did under any circumstances, as far as we're concerned. He's, he's oh, yeah, the, the, br- the British, British team that, the, yeah, you're talking about the British team, the 20-year-old that uh, attempted to assassinate Trump yesterday. No, we, I understand that, believe me. I mean, according to all reports, this uh, child or this uh, 20-year-old man, I should say, had a lot of screws loose. He wasn't playing with a full deck. Uh, definitely a couple of cans short of a six-pack. Uh, so, yeah, I, I don't worry about it. America is not blaming Britannia uh, by any means. Uh, hey, you want to give a shout-out there, Raiden Snake? Yeah, obviously, uh, as well, shout-out to your good self. Obviously, shout-out to Ossie Karaskin, as always. Shout-out to the engineers. Shout-out to everyone in the United Kingdom. And also, shout-out to everyone who's supporting me during, during my time I'm going through right now. But I'm feeling a lot better, and I appreciate the support that everyone's given me. Thank you. Hey, no, hey, thank you, Raiden Snake. And look, uh, uh, whenever anybody is suffering a genuine loss, I think individuals on the Internet can see and hear for themselves uh, the, genuine, the genuineness of a person. Uh, you know, I think that we've been exposed to enough media and enough actors and enough people that uh, have given us fake grief and uh, fake sadness for the sake of attention and I think that everybody genuinely realized that, uh, you know, you were genuinely going through a hard situation. Uh, you, were not, uh, you were not conducting yourself any way for an attention-based uh, reaction. So uh, that's why everybody has given uh, pretty positive vibes towards you there, uh, Raiden Snake. And uh, thanks for calling, man. Uh, how about 832, Radio Graffiti? Hello, girls. This is Dermot for Gay Frog. And I just wanted to ask, is the engineer single? Jesus Christ. You know, got gay Kermit, for Christ's sake. Gay Kermit! Jesus Christ. So how about 708 Radio Graffiti? Hey, Ghost, it's G again. Uh, what, what's going hey, on? Hey, what's going on, G? It's G. What's going on, man? I'm doing pretty good. I heard what uh, Ray and Snake has to say, and I hope you're starting to feel better, man. I mean, like, uh, I lost a lot of people, too, in my life. but uh, I understand yeah, I'm telling you, G, that's pretty good uh, words coming from G, and uh, I really appreciate uh, you trying to get you know feed some positivity to old Raiden Snake over there, man. How about uh, 484 Radio Graffiti? I am going to throw Donald Trump into alligator. Uh, 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 shut up! I'm telling you, shut up! Stop besmirching the name of Donald Trump. I'm not going to warn you. Again. Son of a bitch, man. A four six nine radio graffiti. Oh, 
Lord Jesus Christ. I don't know what the hell you're doing. 541 Radio Graffiti. Oh, Jesus Christ. How about 248 Radio Graffiti? Yeah, Ghost. Can I pee on your leg and make it rain like you said uh, earlier in the this, broadcast? Here, here's this fruit bowl. Shut up, fruity ass. God damn it. How about 585 Radio Graffiti? Hey, Ghost, what's your favorite drunk food? My favorite drunk food? Like when I'm yeah. inebriated and, 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 and want to get something to eat? Yeah, some greasy and tasty, yeah. Uh, it's steak. All right, that's all I got to say about that. I eat steak at least about five times a week. All right, that's my favorite food. Uh, I like all kinds of different steaks. I just ate, I like T-bones, porterhouses, uh, New York strips. Uh, you know, I like ribeye, but, you know, there's too much fat on ribeye. You know, I like, uh, I like more of the beef. You know, it gives you more, uh, it gives you more stamina, strength, that, you know, you could kick some ass, you know. I mean, it's definitely something a man, every man should eat. They should eat a lot of steak. They should eat a lot of, of eggs, you know. I've always said that, uh, well, not I always said, but uh, Dr. Wallach, Dr. Joel Wallach said, a stick of butter a day keeps the doctor away. And I, I try to make sure to eat a stick of butter. And I'm talking real butter, not margarine, all right? Margarine is not good for you. All right, I'm talking real butter, all right? Heavy cream butter, baby, all right? And, uh, you know, you just lower the carbs as well. Don't, you know, cut down on the carb intake, cut down on the sugar intake, increase the uh, increase the beefs, increase the eggs. Uh, I would also uh, ask everybody to uh, increase their salt intake, too. Uh, salt is not bad for you, all right, regardless of what these moronic idiot health people try to tell you, all right? I mean, do you know that, the Japanese consume the most salt in the world. I mean, I think that these people consume the equivalent of like a salt shaker a week per person or something of that nature. I mean, just something unbelievable. I mean, they have got the highest salt intake, and yet they have the longest life expectancy in the world. Not to mention that these have been a, a people that has been radiated They've been radiated through, uh, you know, the, the nuclear bombs dropped on them uh, by America, the uh, Fukushima radioactive situation, and yet they are still the longest living people on the planet. So that should tell you something. Now, uh, one more piece of advice, and before I move on to other radio graffitis, if you're going to consume salt, make sure your salt has iodine in the salt, all right? Iodine. Uh, it'll tell you if you do have iodine in the salt, and believe it or not, that actually helps your brain, all right? You, you'll begin to, you know, think a lot more sharper. You'll be able to uh, think a lot more clear, believe it or not, all right? Now, look, I'm just giving you my personal advice. Uh, you all want to continue to listen to these white coats when the average doctor lives to be 57 years old, for Christ's sake. Well, then go ahead. I mean, by all means, for Christ's sake, go ahead and listen to these sons of bitches. All right, go ahead. Jesus Christ. How about 929 Radio Graffiti? Hello, Trump uh, Ghost. So, um, according to uh, the media, the liberal media, Trump is actually, uh, the Trump Tower is funded by money. Yeah, yeah, aren't you that fat idiot that said you were going to try to kill me yesterday, you stupid son of a bitch? Get the hell out of here, you stupid moron. Jesus Christ. Uh, how about uh, 574 Radio Graffiti? Hey, Ghost, I want to give a shout-out to the engineer. I mean, what, what the hell? You see what you did, engineer? These people remember what you did, for Christ's sake, engineer, you son of a bitch. They remember that song you played for Herman Cain? God damn it! Yeah. Oh, shut up, engineer. God damn it. And just do your job! Yeah, yeah. Jesus Christ, man. Oh, oh. Well, who else do we have here, for Christ's sake? How about anonymous radio graffiti? <laughs> Here we go with more 
more remixes. Man, how many remixes are there of me out there, for Christ's sake, man? How many remixes? Jesus Christ. 403 Radio Graffiti. Shout out to Dylan Savoy. Happy to talk to you. Yeah. Talk Tuesday ghost though, you fruit bullish bastard. You see, you couldn't even say it without stumbling and mumbling over your stupid fruit bowl mouth. All right, boy. What a little scare, little pussy whip, little fruit bowl. How about nine one six radio graffiti? How's it going, ghost? Uh, listen, I wanted to talk to you for a second about um, those conspiracies regarding the moon landing. When you first discussed those, I thought you were totally crazy. But when I started to look into it. I started to discover some pretty scary things about that whole business. I don't know if you know oh, yeah. this actually, but go right ahead government... and explain what you go ahead and explain what you found. I mean, because this is why I don't believe a word NASA says. Go ahead. Well, the thing that really shocked me was um, NASA actually got Stanley Kubrick to fake the moon landing. Believe it or not, he was in charge. And well, that's that's he... speculation. I mean. Uh, uh, I no, mean, no, listen, no. Uh, let me um, let me um, let me back that up with the evidence. All right, you know how much of a um, how much of a um, perfectionist that Kubrick was in all of his movies and whatnot. The thousand shots he'd do for one scene. So, in order to fulfill that perfectionism, he had them drag the entire set up to the moon to fake the moon landing. I mean, I could not believe this when I heard it. Oh, just shut up! Shut up, you stupid moron! You see, it always takes a jag off like this to sit here and, you know, make some kind of fictitious, ridiculous little side jab at the actual fact that NASA's a complete lying organization, all right? It's a complete lying organization. You know, one question I'd like to ask, why doesn't why don't any of the damn astronauts ever pan to the other side. Why don't they ever pan the camera to the other side? You know, the whole fourth wall thing, you know? And for you folks that are unaware, uh, you know, that's how they videotape or video record uh, sitcoms. You know, that fourth wall. You know, you're viewing the people on like a sitcom from the fourth wall that doesn't exist. That's why the camera can never show the fourth wall because it doesn't exist because that's where the cameras are at. How come there's not been a damn astronaut that hasn't been out there and just panned a, a damn camera, you know, into the black space? Into I mean, you know, they're, they're, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. And not to mention, folks, uh, I mean, if you take a look at the footage of the moon landing, it seems as if the camera crew was already there to basically witness this spaceship that was designed by NASA to land on the moon. So, you know, apparently Neil Armstrong and these guys were not the first ones on the moon. It was obviously the damn uh, uh, the, the, the camera crew. And I don't know if you saw when they blasted off from the moon, they left the camera crew there as well because they have a perfect pan upward as the damn, uh, well, whatever spaceship they used to supposedly get to the moon blasted off, and there's a pan going upward as if they left the damn camera crew there. It is the fakest crap I've ever seen in my life. How come we haven't gone back, all right? How come we haven't gone back, for Christ's sake? Answer that. How come we have not gone back to the goddamn moon then? I mean, remember, uh, they made so many trips there in the in the 70s, and, and it, it, even it was the last uh, moon trip was like 1980, 81, or some kind of garbage like that, for Christ's sake. How come they haven't gone back? Supposedly, there's a goddamn moon buggy over there. Remember, they were playing golf on the moon. What a, what a joke. What pure mockery, for Christ's sake. And we're supposed to believe this crap? We're supposed to believe this garbage? Jesus Christ. Anyway, look, I, I'll take a couple more calls of radio graffiti. What the hell? I'm, I'm, I'm here already. It's already 641 out here in Austin, Texas. Let's take a couple more callers anyway. What the hell? All right, what the hell? What the hell? Anyway, let's uh, 352 radio graffiti. How exactly do you prepare your stick of butter? Do you just eat it out of the wrapper or do you inject it into your bloodstream? No, I stick it up your mother's ass. 
Yeah, you didn't have anything to say after that, oh boy. Huh? <laughs> I like a little bit of that. <laughs> oh my God. Anyway, uh, who else do we got? How about three two zero radio graffiti? Hey, Ghost, I don't appreciate some of the stuff you say, but hear me out. Um, like, you know, you take the Lord's name in vain. That's offensive. Okay. Yeah, well, you know what? Uh, suck it. How you like that? I don't really care what's offensive to you. I, I believe in freedom of speech. All right. I don't care if you're offended. You think I give two rat's asses if you're offended, for Christ's sake? Hey, that's the price of freedom, ass crack. So what? You think I care? Oh, because I say Jesus Christ and God damn it, huh? I mean, I'll say it in any gods. Uh, what's another god? Uh, uh, Buddha, damn it. Uh, Krishna, damn it. Uh, Allah, damn it. Uh, what's another god out here? Uh, whoever, the Satan, damn it. I mean, give me a break. You see, you see how stupid you people are. You're more worried about words. You think God gives a crap about words, man? And that's another thing. You think that God gives two rats asses who wins the game? I'm sick and tired of people praying to God when it relates to the freaking ball game, all right? God doesn't care about the freaking ball game. But you see, you morons, you'll believe that, right? <laughs> you'll believe that. You'll believe that baby Jesus somewhere actually cares if LeBron James is going to win the freaking title in the NBA. I mean, this is what I'm saying. And you're calling me a moron? You're calling me tinfoil hat? I mean, you people are praying for bowl games, for Christ's sake, man. I bet you pray to God that he gives you money, too, huh? I bet you pray, God, please, I need money, God, help me, God. I mean, you think he cares if you got money, you stupid moron? I bet you pray to God hoping that the disease that, you know, you infected yourself with through your nourishment or malnourishment or whatever the case might be, you, you, I bet you pray to him and, oh, please, God, help, help, and he doesn't do a goddamn thing. So who's the bigger idiot, huh? Who's the bigger moron out here? I mean, you've got the Catholic Church praising and having you morons believe that Mother Teresa was some goddamn saint when this woman was a sick, sadistic old woman who loved watching people suffer. She loved death. Do you understand that? I, I mean, I'm serious. I mean, you know, uh, one of the uh, one of the greater atheist intellectuals. And look, uh, I, I, I appreciated the man's political perspective, not his uh, religious perspective. And I'm talking about Christopher Hitchens. He did a very beautiful expose documentary talking about uh, Mother Teresa being uh, infatuated with death. She purposely liked putting people in horrific, disgusting, uh, crowded, infectious, diseased conditions so that she could watch these people die, all right? I mean, this woman was a sick, disgusting piece of trash, and yet you've got every one of you people, the church, all right? All you people out here believing that the church is so goddamn worthy and great, for Christ's sake, I mean, give me a freaking break. All right, but oh, who's, who's, the, who's the big bad wolf now, for Christ's sake, man? Jesus Christ. Oh, oh, is that the equipment y'all are saying now that you can supposedly see from space? Huh? Laser ranging equipment. You stupid idiots. I saw that episode on the Big Bang Theory, for Christ's sake. Is that your evidence for stuff on the moon? Suck it. All right? Suck it. All right? Suck on my left testy and make the right one jealous. You stupid, dumb idiots. That's your evidence for the goddamn crap being left on the moon. Shove it up your ass. Jesus Christ. Who else do we got here? How about 406, Radio Graffiti? Hey, Ghost. The little people are coming for me. Quick. Quick help, Ghost. Ah. Yeah, that's, that's just lame, for Christ's sake. All right, how about 510? 
はい、ゲスト三振でございます。
Ooh, ghost, can you stick a butter up my anal passage? Can I oh, stick a... Fruit, but get out of here, you fruity-ass bastard! Shut up! Jesus Christ. Anonymous radio graffiti. Three, 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 three. Hey, hey, shove it up your ass, for Christ's sake, man. 614 radio graffiti. Uh, just playing with your Peter Popper or something there. How about uh, how about eight three zero radio graffiti? Ghost. The only reason why they keep coming up with the trans names is because they're trying to recapture the glory of the poop tickler Twitter names. Oh, the the the, the glory of the poop ticklers for crap. Look, I, whatever. I don't care what they're doing. What I don't appreciate is every time I'm doing Twitter shout-outs, I see some new object with a pair of balls on it, for Christ's sake, man. I mean, that's that's something wrong there. There's something disturbing about that, to say the goddamn least, all right? 210 Radio Graffiti. I am so sick and tired of these liberal shit-stained motherfuckers. They're like, they're starting to piss me off. They need, they're like shit coming straight out of Hillary Clinton's asshole. Like, everything, every day they say some new retarded thing. Like, they're saying Donald Trump can't be president because he has, like, no political experience. Like, what the hell does that mean? He's a business. It doesn't mean anything, all right? It doesn't mean anything. Anybody with political experience is nothing more than an agent of international bureaucracy as far as I'm concerned. Jesus Christ. Anonymous radio graffiti. Boss. They called him boss. Boss nigger. He's so bad. They called him boss. They called him boss. Boss nigger. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. I'm, I'm tired of you sons of bitches, man. I'm telling you, you stupid trolls. You assholes that think I'm tinfoil having it, for Christ's sake. You people have ruined my goddamn Taco Tuesday. You <laughs> sons of bitches. You people have ruined it.
I gotta go, folks. <laughs> oh. I'm, I'm, I'm all right. <laughs> I'm all right. I'm all right. And screw you people on Twitter that's saying it's the butter. It's not the butter. Show it up your good. <laughs> Folks, I'm sorry. <laughs> Tune in tomorrow, 4 p.m. <laughs> Central Standard Time. Follow me on Twitter, folks. Politics Ghost. <laughs> All one word, no underscores. God damn it, Politics Ghost.